Another reason for the crash was that even during the boom, underlying the fantastic economy and all the great things of the roaring 20s, was unemployment. As the 1920s wore on, there was actually a growing number of unemployment. In fact, if you have a look at page 39, it will tell you that from 1926 to 1928, unemployment rose from 880,000 people to 2 million and 80,000. That is a huge increase in just two years. And this is during the boom. So as people are getting unemployed, they're of course not getting any money. If they're not getting any money, they can't buy things. So suddenly the money is not going around. A healthy economy, the money is going around. But in this case, the money is not going around because if you've got two million people not getting paid, that's two million people who cannot buy stuff. And that would mean, you know, perhaps if they had money, they might buy a, I don't know, a holiday. The holiday company who's selling the holiday doesn't get that money. It could be that they would buy six bottles of Coca-Cola every week. If they're short of money because they have unemployed, they won't buy that. So that company suffers. And if there's two million people in that same situation, then unemployment has a big impact on the crash that is about to come.